To my fellow NABNET members, the challenges we have faced in recent weeks have focused us more than ever on the spirit of community, collaboration, and resilience that is NABNAP. We are so fortunate to have a dedicated, strong community of members who support one another in times of need. As frontline pediatric providers, your hard work and contributions to support children and families are to be commended and recognized. Children are vulnerable to the significant event in history. They are not experiencing their normal routine. They may be away from seeing close friends and family. And during these times, we remain committed to providing direct care to address their short and long-term primary, acute, and critical care needs as well as identifying and responding to their unique needs and experiences. I refer you to NAPNAP's website to the coronavirus safety page, which will link you to trusted sources on COVID-19 and how to work with children and families. Refer to our open forum discussion to learn more about resources on telehealth, as so many more of us are leveraging this technology to improve access to patient care. Share best practices on what pediatric-focused APRNs are doing to meet patients' needs. Now is the time to be inquisitive, share our knowledge, and learn from one another. I believe we will be providing care very differently in the future, and our ability to start that narrative now will help prepare us for a novel and innovative path ahead. As many of you are aware, the Coronavirus Aid, Relief, and Economic Security, or CARES Act, was signed last Friday to help deliver funds in emergency aid and extend funding to several key health programs. NAPNAP continues its national advocacy efforts as it relates to the availability of personal protective equipment to allow frontline providers to best provide care safely and effectively. It is still hard to believe that we were not able to celebrate being together at our national conference in Long Beach last week. But our conference planning team is working extremely hard to design a unique virtual experience that will not only provide high quality evidence-based education to our attendees, but also highlight the spirit of our profession. Stay tuned for more information on that offering. I have two important asks of you. First, voting for your executive board has been extended until the end of the week on Friday at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Please log into your NAPNAP account, read and hear from your candidates, and cast your vote. It is with their leadership and governance that NAPNAP will continue to be strongly poised for a prosperous future. Second, in light of this unprecedented public health crisis, your personal wellness is so vital. While we may be physically distanced from one another, we can still connect with each other virtually. Your role as a nurse practitioner, an educator, a researcher, an advocate is valued more than ever. Take care of yourself, connect with loved ones, surround yourself with those who help instill hope and optimism so that you may best be there for the children and families you care for. As Helen Keller once said, optimism is the faith that leads to achievement. Nothing can be done without hope and confidence. On behalf of all of us at NAPNAP, please accept my wishes for your continued health and well-being and that of your loved ones. Your professional home is here to support you and remind you that we are always in this together in our mission to empower pediatric-focused APRNs and key partners to optimize child and family health.